Diane Paragos, she <laughs> she says she has been working on this movie for 15 years. The director made a point that she didn't want anyone to, again, similar to Chanel Miller, she didn't want anyone to be perceived as like a monster or like the villain. The only faces she wanted to show were the faces of empathy. Oh, I'm getting chills again. My last one is a film which I've already raved about to you um, and I really hope you can get a chance to watch it. It's called Yellow Rose. I was able to watch it at the Asian American International Film Festival in New York City back in July of 2019. And I literally went in not knowing anything about this movie. All I knew was that it was the opening film of the film festival. So the synopsis of Yellow Rose. Rose, an undocumented teenager, dreams of one day leaving her small Texas town to pursue her country music aspirations. Oh my god. So I feel everything you just said about Crash Landing on You, about uh, Yi jong Yeok being a pianist and how that the music aspect really resonated with you because Rose, with her interest in country music and wanting to become a country music singer, just really gets me too just I, I think it just gets me just seeing anyone wanting to become a musician overall but there's this added layer of she's Filipina and she's undocumented and in the movie in the trailer you actually see her mom gets taken away by ice and what and she sees her mom getting taken away and she wants to run and help but if she runs towards her then she's gonna get caught too so she has to make the hard decision to leave her mom and she ends up on the run the entire time uh oh my so and she's like 17 years old i think in this movie and it was just seeing this little girl basically couch surfing like i know i i I feel like i have a lot of friends who couch surf now with friends like when they're traveling and stuff or when they're in a new city for the first time and it's safe and fun yeah it's just a completely different experience from literally not being able to go home and you have to find a place that will keep you safe and rose she just had so much resilience in this movie also along the way which found her escape by playing her guitar and singing music she ended up befriending a country music singer and they end up working together to make songs and it was just seeing all these relationships like that are so fragile from the moment that she begins them because she's undocumented and they would know that when she sees them and seeing how fragile it is but also how strong it is at the same time of how these people believe in her and want her to live the life that she aspires to have and that she deserves to have honestly and by the end her mom ends up getting deported to the philippines but she has continued on to her country music dreams. After this movie premiered, there was a QA and a with the cast and crew of Yellow Rose, and the director was just incredible. Diane Paragos, she, <laughs> she said she had been working on this movie for 15 years. <laughs> if I had been working on something for 15 years, I would have started when I was 10. You know, that's so crazy. And she had been thinking about, like, I want to talk about this delicate subject of undocumented immigrants because that is such a contentious conversation in America, uh, especially given our current government who wants to build a wall. It was just interesting to see about, like, the creative decisions that they chose to make. Like, for example, they chose country music because country music is what area of the world do you think of when you think of country music? You think of this, you think of the Midwest, you think of the South. Mm -hmm. And the South tends to be the red states, the conservative folks who are in favor of like building a wall, turning away undocumented immigrants. So I loved how she took this one common interest of country music and tried to tie that in to bring more of a spotlight on this little girl who is just trying to become a country music singer. The only thing that makes her different is that she's undocumented. So it really makes this story very, not just realistic in the sense of it's showing the life of an undocumented teenager but also realistic that hey this is just another little girl who just has big dreams in her life it's like she could be integrated in your life she could Mm -hmm. be your next door neighbor Mm. yeah and i loved how the director made a point that she didn't want anyone to again similar to chanel miller she didn't want anyone to be perceived as like a monster or like the villain that you usually see in a movie and so what she ended up doing was that whenever there were the ice agents or people who were after her or trying to catch her she never showed their faces 
because she the only faces she wanted to show were the faces of empathy. So in one of the scenes, there Ooh. is the ice. There is one ice agent who finds her, and ends up letting her go. And we see the face of that person because this is someone who, in that moment, decided to choose empathy and to let her get away. So I just think all the visual. Oh, I'm getting chills again. All the visual choices, decisions, mm. and creative decisions that she made into this put that she put into this movie were just so clever. The acting isn't phenomenal. Uh, Leia Salonga's in this movie. Uh, yeah, and From it's like her this. first. Yeah. Uh, well, Leia Salonga she was she was in Miss Saigon. She's the voice of Mulan. She's the voice of Jasmine in Aladdin. Ooh. So she's like a big name, but this is her first Filipina movie. And so that's really cool because now she is doing, she, this is her first work where she gets to be portrayed as someone true to her identity as a Filipina American. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Lea Salonga and then Eva Nobleza is the main actress. She is, she is in the original cast, she's the main protagonist of Hades Town right now in Broadway, which is incredible. So I just, I'm just so excited to see this movie blow up. It, I think Sony got distribution rights and they're supposed to release it theatrically soon so so I does this mean we can excited. watch it in theater soon like once covid mm-hmm. is over oh mm-hmm. nice yeah 